Hey guys, it's Ben here from the Grease Games and Johnson. This is a Halloween special. We're doing our top ten creepiest video game characters. This we're is the first of October, so this is our first creepy yes, video. Yes, we're going to be doing a lot of October videos. It, it's not going to be well. A few not of them all might of be. them are going to be. Creepy. A few of them might be slightly creepy themed, but most of them is just going to be me hunting for shinies because I don't know. I felt like it. So, uh, we are going to be doing more video game character things. Uh, it's going to be top 10 like cutest video game characters, top 10 coolest video game characters, top 10 most mysterious video game characters, etc, etc, etc. Top et 10 ugliest and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. So Top 10 most feminine. <laughs> top 10 most... Birdo, even though he's a bloke. <laughs> wow, Johnson, wow. Why do you have to point out that my childhood hero, Green Dinosaur from Mario, is <laughs> a homosexual? A Why did you have to point that out? <laughs> yeah, out? I had to point out that Yoshi went out with a bloke. I just had to. Even though Yoshi technically doesn't have a gender. Anyway, let's get on with this video. Yeah, Yoshi's last is a bloke anyway. Come on, down here. Um, oh, yes, of course, sorry. Um, right. I'm just sitting Ignore on that. Ben's spinning chair. He's sitting on my spinning chair looking at the screen. Right. Number 10. Bayonet Pokemon series. Um, Bayonet, appearance wise, is pretty creepy. Um, Storyline even creepy. Storyline is the creepiest part though. A doll thrown out by a girl. I'm reading, uh, reading from a book right now. By the way, I'm reading from... This is actual Pokedex entry. A doll thrown out by a girl that came to life and re re vows revenge on that girl. Now, any sort of doll coming to life is pretty creepy. So that's Burnett. It's just nothing much. The reason it's only number 10 is because it isn't as terrifying as some other video game characters. Yeah, we've got a load of much creepier things in this. Number 9, Drowy Bowser from Mario. Bowser, now, Drowy Bowser appearance-wise... I think this guy's that cute, I mean, creepy. He's quite cute, in my opinion. Now, the reason Drowy Bowser is number 9, appearance-wise, he just looks like a dry bones, but big. But storyline-wise is pretty well I messed don't up. Know his story line. Messed up, well prepared to be blown off. Bowser, after falling in lava one time, his skin got burnt off completely. And he became dry Bowser, um, which was King Boo possessing Bowser's body. That's not that, creepy, it's messed up. That, yeah, exactly. That it's, should be in top ten messed up. As things. well. But anyway, here it is. So number eight. Scarecrow from the Arkham series. He probably should have been higher on this list, uh, but he doesn't have such a creepy backstory. It's just what he does, which is creepy. We don't normally talk about the Batman games much, but they're good. Um, he has fear gas, which makes everyone's worst nightmares come out, and that's pretty scary. Uh, but another person does this practically the same thing, who but uh, he's a bit scarier. But yeah, Scarecrow is very scary. Cause Scary. Yeah, someone who's number two on our list. Very similar. Number seven, ghasts from Minecraft. I don't think they're very scary at all. Johnson I've, doesn't think any of these are very scary. Because I've never been jumped so, dead. So apart from Johnson, you gave away. Apart from the fact that they float around a place which is practically hell in Minecraft, and they go around and they shoot fireballs out of their mouth, but it's the jump scares which really make ghasts take the cake above uh, I've never above been scarecrow by. you're in the nether you're mining stuff you're happy you think you're safe the pigmen are around but that's fine then you hear the horrible <laughs> of a gas which shoots a fireball and explodes you die it's pretty creepy Number six, Shortcut from Skylanders. Ooh, he's not that creepy, but he's creepy. He doesn't have such a creepy backstory. I can't remember it off the top of my head, but um, his look is pretty creepy. He has a massive pair of scissors, and he looks a lot he like looks Bayonet. Like a, he looks like and Sweeney Todd. And if you actually Todd. play as him in he the game, he looks like Sweeney Todd. If you actually play as him in the games, which I personally haven't, but um, Oh, I haven't played them in the games, but I know a fair few people who have, and they've told me how he works. He jumps around, he's a crazy psychopath, and he uses his scissors to cut things up. That's pretty scary. If he was in the real world, that I would run away it's from It's basically him. Sweeney Todd in, in animation form. Johnson. Number five, Cuff Grigus, except not the Pokemon one, the Poke Park 2 one. Poke Park is a spin-off of Pokemon, which is really good. It's... Uh, I don't know what you call it, a GRPG or something. 
um, you're up and you're like up. an action RPG, like Final Fantasy kind of, but it's not. It has challenges and stuff as well. Um, but Cough of Gigas in the second one, in the second one, the storyline is something along the lines of oh yeah, spoilers by the way. So Darkrai's got this like, magical theme park running, and any any Pokemon who goes to the theme park, uh, different things happen to them. If the Pokemon plays Cofagrigus' game, they are stuck eating and playing his game forever. They cannot stop even if they want to. That is pretty creepy. Cofagrigus himself has some pretty creepy lines in, commands an entire army of Yanmas, and Gothitel, um is really creepy as well, who's the one who owns the... who is actually behind it all. She's the worst. Number four, Slenderman from Slenderman. You don't really need much said about this, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> he's just like a he's, magic it's a horror game dogs. what can you imagine I can't really say much more than that number 3 symbiote from Disney Infinity 2.0 um, if you don't know what a symbiote is it basically it looks a lot like Venom uh, Venom's an enemy from Spider-Man except this is in Disney Infinity 2.0 which is an okay game and it's pretty good it's actually yeah it's pretty good uh, you got, but so if you play story mode for um, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yeah, if you play story mode in Spider-Man, then uh, the story is, goes something like uh, Green Goblin and Mysterio created a uh, managed to get some of Venom's DNA and made these symbiotes. Symbiote is a type of like goo, and if this goo gets anywhere near a person's head, it takes them over and turns them into a Venom clone. And there's no way to turn them back. You have to kill them, oh, and, and that's killing, that's killing the person as well. By the way. By the way, there's a couple things that you were wrong about there. Um, symbiotes. Oh, forget about it. Well, anyway, so yeah, symbiotes are actually not necessarily just what the Green Goblin and Mysterio made originally. Venom made them and stuff. Like that. Yeah, well, in in Disney Infinity 2.0, we're talking game wise here. I've yes, never seen it's it. not the movie. I, I've never seen any of these. Completely Spider-Man movies, different so. to the movie, the whole thing. So. Anyway, um. Number two. Oh yeah, and by the way, the way that they... Uh, that's not a symbiote, that's Venom! Yeah, but symbiotes look like Venom. I couldn't find a picture of a symbiote, <laughs> Johnson. Um, well, <laughs> the, it, the way they possess people kind of is different in oh, the games. In the, the in, the games in the games and the movies anyway. Now, this may seem a lot less creepy than Slenderman and Scarecrow, but wait until you hear what he does in the games. It's another guy from Disney Infinity 2.0, and it is in fact Mysterio, the one who cloned Venom in the first place. I don't quite know if he's from Spider-Man or whatever. I think he is. Um, but he's so such creepy. a Marvel noob. <laughs> <laughs> after he come, after you di- you play Spider-Man, after you descend <coughs> into his cabin on over. and s- on over or whatever, after you see, after you descend into the cabin and watch them take cl- start to clone Venom, Mysterio will notice you. And you'll be, and he will release. Sounds a, it looks a bit like fear gas. It um, toxicates except, the universe. Except right. instead of just toxicating your brain to make you think you see things, it actually proper creates the universe. Yeah, so basically, well, not like creates the universe, not like all. destroys it. So what happens is the entire lab breaks up, and so you, the only piece of floor remaining is the floor you're standing on. He's floating in mid for no apparent reason. You and go you've around, got to park and you, your way into a small area. The only thing, where the only thing there is, is a mirror, and that's the only way. Oh yeah, well, I'll explain the level. So, um, so the entire thing is a dark void type place, uh, apart from the bit you're standing on, and then slowly, like other bits of platform will float. And you can Once see him in front of you. Just what, yeah, you can see. You can see you with his hand. You can see him in front of you, um, using. Uh, things to summon more platforms. I so, like to say he makes gestures at you. Anyway, so you go up, and um, once you've done tons of hard parkour and really crazy kind of like, you have he'll, to break he'll twist, your glass he'll jar twist the dimensions. So one minute you'll be in somewhere with a ladder, you'll be trying to climb up the ladder. The next minute you'll be in like a bathroom, and the next minute you'll be in a kitchen. Except it'll all be changing. Eventually, you'll get to a bit with a mirror. Now the and mirror. Then you can app- only see the mirror you. apparently isn't there. You can only see behind you, and you can't turn behind you because uh, the game won't let you. It, well, it's his powers. It's mysterious powers won't let you turn around. You've got to, you've got to yeah. You got to reflect things off the mirror 
to defeat Mysterio, who you can also see in the mirror, trying to shoot things at you. Except uh, when he shoots things at you, it comes out of the mirror, rather than coming from behind you. He is so creepy, that and level. And, yes, also he's trying to kill you when you don't yeah. look. Bear in mind, this is the first level of the game. Number one, Freddy Fazbear from Five Nights at Freddy's. It is... I mean, it's 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 pretty creepy. If you don't know his backstory, he was like it's he was a child who got murdered by a guy in purple, and then it it's Freddy, and then he tries to kill I, I you. I don't like five nights and then, Freddy's. Then you go around with with the torch, but it's impossible to not include this guy on the top ten creepiest list. Um, yeah, he's really creepy. Unless it's top ten creepiest gerbils. <laughs> He's, he's, a kind of, he's a gerbil. He's a bear. <laughs> anyway, see you guys in the next video. Wait, before the video ends, I must say something. What? The, the um, a tip for Halloween, since this is sort of because it's the first day of the month of Halloween. Um, this is just me and Ben are trying to keep you safe by saying this one thing. If you go out trick or treating, because I know a lot of you guys probably do. I don't know though, I don't watch you though. So yeah, if you get sweets that aren't wrapped up, don't eat them. They could be dangerous. Yes, well guys, that's about all we have to say, so say goodbye Johnson. Bye bye. And it's bye from me, Ben. See you guys in the next episode. Goodbye, goodbye.